what you'll see here is the school run but this is African style well of course as you can see it's not a run at all they've walked from a village three miles behind me near the near Gunju and they're heading for their school in that direction which is another two miles walk so their walk in the morning to school is five miles and in the evening it's five miles home they're walking into their school for the afternoon session there are two sessions normally in a Gabion school, morning and afternoon. It's now midday sun, it's blisteringly hot. So their trek to school each day is very, very difficult. Well, this is a typical classroom on a Friday morning. And some of the students you see here will have arrived up to an hour late because of the difficulties in getting into school on time. And this particular classroom is actually well stocked with resources hanging on the walls, as you see. But the reality is that a lot of these classrooms, in a lot of schools, in fact most schools across the whole of Gambia, are bare. They don't have things hanging on the walls and they don't have books on the shelves. Now if these young students are to become doctors, nurses, teachers, business people, entrepreneurs and managers and writers, then they do need these resources. They do need books to read. And that's where we can help. For the children to be able to read books, they need to be able to get to school. And of course, that's where the bikes come in. As you can see here, it's made that journey from home to school so much more fun and so much easier.